What is up everybody? I just got back, picked up my heads. You guys asked for it, so you're gonna get it. I kept getting the question. Dude, that's the baddest bee ever. Look at this thing. Ah, is it a get me? What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of DTV. And I got a 67 Mustang uh, that's supposed to be showing up. But until that happens, I gotta keep moving, keep busy, because I have a Malibu that needs to make it to Vegas and do some smoky burnout. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick before I jump on the road. I gotta go to LA and do some errands today, pick up my heads and whatnot. This is my list of stuff to do, and I'm checking a lot of it off, but then this column over here, that's the money column. That's the hard one to check off. Time is money, I don't have a car in the garage to work on right now, so we're gonna stick with these columns, make sure they're all checked off, and then we'll get to this box. Repairing the seats and having a comfortable seat and some sticky tires really don't matter. I'd like to have those things, but you know what? I'm going to Vegas. If I can put gas in the car and get in the thing and it runs and it's somewhat legal, we're rolling. So, so. we just picked up the heads from the Malibu, heading home. I'll get some pictures of some of the uh, street art that they got. I, I took some, threw it on Instagram, but this camera's way better. Hopefully I'll get some cool shots. So. We just got back home. I've got treasure heads. Pull them out. Slide them on the old plastic. Bam. Look at those bad boys. And then uh, these are just 241s. A little bit of work done to them. Nothing crazy. The springs and retainers and everything are off of the other heads. Which he didn't even give me back, but I guess it doesn't matter because. Who needs those when you got these guys? And then I picked this dude up to uh, sell. Kill two birds with one stone. A little business, a little pleasure. Out here right now, the heads are just temporarily on with like one bolt, so I could do the hard lines and mount the intake. So I'm gonna rip all this stuff off, get it all out of the way, take the heads off, and then I'm actually gonna clean and reuse the head gaskets. We're gonna copper spray the hell out of it, and then we're gonna glue it back on, and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, so I've been staring at this thing since I made it. You probably heard my neighbor's diesel truck running over there, but um, I'm gonna make it nicey nice. I'm gonna put some paint on it. This holds the, this is a bracket that goes on the head, and this holds two bulkhead fittings. So this jumps my hard lines to the soft lines, and then back to hard line on my motor. I'm gonna paint it, and I'm gonna call it right now. If my motor fails, it's because I painted this. Just, I'm just calling my shots. All right, so the block surface itself in here I mean it's been cleaned before because I recently actually put a head on but I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it with this guy I usually have the little scotch bright discs that spin they clean it up real nice but I don't have one handy and the only thing I have are the clean strip wheels and I don't really want to put any sort of scratch into this even though I don't think it would really hurt it or matter I just don't want to do that because if it did then that would be bad. All right, so here we go. This is what it looks like after I just hit it with that little plastic. It's like a plastic wire wheel, actually. Harbor Freight special, nothing crazy. Those are the barrels. Make sure your water is out of your water jacket. We had a little bit of uh, overspray. I went to blow stuff out and a little water happened, so I gotta make sure this is all nice and dry. And I wanna show you this, because this is where the party and the magic really happens. So these head gaskets actually have pink on them, just to, just to show you. These are pink because I assembled that first motor I did, the $60 4.8. I assembled it with these, and I got them used when I put it together that time. And then I took that motor apart and I put the one that is in here now together with these. So that was again. So that's three times that they've been used. This is lucky number four, baby. So. Okay, so this guy is as clean as I think I'm gonna get it. It still has residual crap on it. But I'm hoping it doesn't have crap in the wrong places and we're gonna roll with that and it's a good thing these were on sale uh two for whatever it was because i already smoked a whole can cleaning one so on to can number two gasket number two we're gonna let it rip i got these dudes all cleaned up and then i started thinking to myself while i was scrubbing it going you know trying to reuse the head gasket four times is a little excessive but i like it 
All right, so here we go. These are the actually the cleaned head gaskets. I'm going to liberally spray them with some Permatex copper spray the old gasket. I'll actually place these on the dowel pins in the car and then I'll go back and set the heads on and I'll just do them one at a time because I can only hold one and spray one. We're going to do that and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's in the car. Here is the head gaskets that I cleaned and then copper sprayed, recoated, and then they're sitting on the dowels. I have the dowels obviously in here and then I will set each head on, put some bolts on to hold it down and then away we go. If you're wondering how you know when you have enough material on there, I just coat it till it looks expensive, right? You just coat it. Looks like you could recycle the damn thing and get some cash. Good to go. All right, so for all of you guys that actually know this, these are all torque to yield head bolts. They're not supposed to be reused. They're supposed to stretch and yield a certain amount of tension and torque or whatever. Clamping force. That's it, you throw them away. You get a new set. And you put those on. Well, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to put these on. I can't reach that one, so we'll go around here. I'm going to put these on, and I'm going to torque them down. And then the other thing that's weird is these heads are really clean and nice. These are the nicest LS parts I think I've had to date, honestly. Everything else has always just been junk, so kind of weird. A little exciting. So I'm sure this has been beat to death, but if you're going to do this, uh, you still have to follow the correct sequence. So this is the sequence. The numbers are the bolt, and then that's the order they go in. So one, two, three, four, and so on. And then you, if you look here, you know, this would be one, this would be two. They match the pattern. And then these guys up here are your last, uh, last of the Mohicans up here. So follow the order, torque them back down, you'll be fine. Just smile while you do it, that helps. It gives it All good right, juju. So as you might be able to see from the video, it's getting pretty much dark. These bad boys are on. Cleanest part on the motor for sure. My ECT and all my stuff was on the other heads that I didn't pick up. So I'll just get a brand new coolant temperature sensor. I figured screw it. Since we're already here, this is shiny. I'd like to know the temperature of my car. So we'll just get that. And then that is it. Tomorrow I'll come back, start plugging everything in. And away we go.